All right, baby, it's this old outboard, the 1968 Johnson 20 horse. And where I left off the other day, fix that ignition plate wobble. It wasn't that, you know, it was get, gonna be just getting worse. So tighten that up. Also, what didn't make that video was check the uh, points, reset the points, and I've got spark. Boom. So today, um, oh, the other thing that didn't make that video was the uh, flywheel is bad. The keyway slot all wore out at the bottom, probably from getting, you know, when they put that on there, beating it up and everything. I do have another flywheel. I'm going to throw that on here carburetor pull that off today get that cleaned up and just keep rolling man uh, the other thing that didn't make that video gear case pop the screws off and just trickled like I mean just the tiniest little just blip blip of water like two tiny drops it dripped out first and the sludge came out All right, so here is 20 horse, $40 Craigslist special. I brought this thing home. Uh, nice flywheel here. Um, it was all tour for. I was going to start building it, and just the way things went and happened, I never got around to it. I'll show you the difference in these flywheels. That flywheel that's on there is from an 18 horse all right so here's the two flywheels this is off the n18 and i can see pretty much what they did was they just took like a looked like a drill bit and just you know and it knocked that down so it would stop hitting but you can see here the size of the the keyway is all stretched out and that's going to screw things up see the difference here see how nice and tight this one is and how this one's all battered and beat up so also just wanted to double check where my keyway is in regards to my magnets make sure you know everything is going to be the same because they you know I don't think they went through all this work for nothing pretty sure this thing was running on there so everything looks like it's supposed to and this is the flywheel we're going to use this is just junk at this point there is a method to fixing this if you got no choice and Leroy's ramblings check out Leroy's that's where, where what I grew up on everything Leroy's ramblings I believe he's got an article on what you can do about this situation I ain't gonna do it. I'm, I'm gonna tell you too, man. These have always been my favorite motors. The 1820 series, uh, the 60s. Killer outboards. If you can get one, keep it, fix it up. I, I it broke my heart when I sold my 62 18, and uh, they're they're just great, man. Screw those 9.9s. Screw those 15 horses. Get you an 18, 20 horse. Our right, Brad, baby. Hopefully, no surprises here. No surprises. Keep my fingers crossed. Hey, 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 hey! Looky there! Wow! This is dirty in there, but should clean up just fine. Ooh, look at that float, way off, way off. Holy mackerel! This is all new equipment. This isn't, you know, any that old cork float. But yeah, that should be, float should be level with the base here, or that's really the, the bottom of the top. Wow, looky there, even the, the needle, brand new. Sweet. Ooh, 
Ooh, that needle looked good. Oh no, it doesn't. Well, there's something in there. And it don't look good. Get that crap out of there. Now I gotta order this crap up. And the needle, I was saying, doesn't look good. If it did at first glance, let's see here. It's got just a tiny ridge on it where somebody screwed it in too hard. But it should be alright. Alright, let me get my bucket and throw all the parts in and get the soak in here. I think we're going to be in good shape. Alright, so I just ordered up a couple of packing washers right here in Crystal River, Florida, 80 miles away. And I, I think what I'm going to do, I just loosened up my screws, I'm going to shoot this top off. You know, last thing I'm going to hit it with is the brake cleaner, which is very similar to electric cleaner. It dries up fast. Always, too, there's always been a lot of questions about which way the ring goes. Is this the top or is this the top? And I think what's confusing is, if you ever look at a picture of these things, they always show this side. But in reality, it goes in like that, flat side up. It's going to need scrubbing, that's for sure. Get her nice. I can see there's some gouge marks. One, two, three. Somebody pulled that seal out at one point, and hopefully, that's fairly new. That's what I mean by you got to be a detective, baby. <laughs> Yeah, it looks pretty good. Let's see if a little mean green on here won't do something. Well, I'm gonna tell you what, man. This thing just, man. I mean, the mean greens have a problem getting this crap off. You know, I just brushed it and freaking had to take steel wool to it. Good God. Oh. But it's coming. Well, I think I just... Uh, <laughs> I think I may have just put this whole thing back together and the freaking camera wasn't recording. But I lubed everything up with Molly Lube and uh, mixed it in a little bit of two-stroke oil. Everything was beautiful, clean, shiny clean. Uh, this thing rolls perfect now. It's so smooth, action in it. Like I said, after I cleaned it up, it's just beautiful. Alright, so next uh, let me get some paper run it through my points make sure they're cleaned off so it's just a piece of three by five or five by seven whatever and just run it through see what just came off get right in there Fourth action. Boom. See that? See all that crap? Do that a few times. Rip that off. Move down to another piece. My fingers are dirty too. 
so try not to touch the paper. There, it's coming off clean now. Let me do the other side. Alright, so next thing I'm going to do is pull off this damn fuel pump. See what the hell is going on there. Alright, you. Let's see what you're doing. Wow. A lot of crap in there. Hopefully we're going to be okay. But yeah, there's, there's this looks dirty-ish. Crappy or some kind of crap in there. Now, if you, you know, best thing to do is take your two main longest screws. When you take one of these things apart, put them in the opposite direction. Then take out your other screws. If you have to, take pictures. Everything you take off, how you take it off, or shoot a video. That way, when you put it back together, you won't be going, Which way did that go? So I'm going to take this off piece by piece, like this. Well, that feels good. That, that uh, feels good. It's still got flex in it. Now underneath there, one of these, I'm not feeling anything. Should be a spring and I'm not feeling anything, seeing anything. Well, that's pretty much off now. Where the hell is the little spring and stuff at? Maybe, oh, see it should have been right there. Yeah, you see these two little, these two little sections here. Depending on which way you have this piece oriented, which was like that. Now I got everything all mixed up. Is what side that little spring should be on. There's the big spring underneath. Look at that, that's, that's off. What the hell is that? Oh, wait a minute, it looks like it went right here. Wow, I've never seen one like this. You know, I can get one of these pretty cheap. Let me check a couple things here. All right, this is the exact same pump here. That's clean. Nur. This is stiff fur. This is rusty er. Jesus, man. But let's open this one up. And this is in the same orientation. It's longer, too. This still feels pretty good. Yep, see under there, like I said, there's your spring. Right there. Looks like it's kind of collapsed a little bit. So this one has the spring in it, where this one didn't. So, this pump. so I'm going to take the best pieces and make one pump out of it.
put it all down Get the best couple of screws And we got us a fuel pump, baby. Follow the real life saga, one outboard at a time, baby. It's this old outboard, baby. You know the channel.